Nice. All right. Oh, hold on. This is a story about baby Mario and Yoshi. A story that took place a long, long time ago. A stork hurries across the dusky pre-dawn sky. In his bill, he carries a pair of brothers. Suddenly, a shadow appears in the gap between the clouds and races toward the stork with blinding speed. Screech! The babies are mine! Whoa! Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. Into the darkness from whence it came. The second baby falls undetected towards the open sea. Oh no! Meanwhile, down on Yoshi's Island, home to all Yoshis. It's a lovely day, and Yoshi is taking a walk. Huh? Suddenly, out of nowhere, a baby falls on his back. Fortunately, the baby seems to be just fine. What? Something else fell along with the baby. Let's take a peek. It looks like a map. Maybe the stork was using it. Yoshi can't figure out this strange situation. He decides to talk to his friends about it. Ugh! Kamek, the evil magic Koopa who kidnapped the baby, quickly dispatches his gang of nasty toadies. When he discovers that he missed the other baby, Yoshi casually heads back to the other Yoshis. Completely unaware of the danger close at hand. Comet's forces are actively searching the island. Will the two brothers ever safely reach their parents? Hey everyone, Equinox here, and welcome to a new playthrough, Yoshi's Island! More specifically, Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3. Um, this is the Game Boy Advanced port of Yoshi's Island. The reason I'm playing specifically that version is because that is the version I grew up with. Um, I grew up with the Game Boy Advance, and a lot of the games I played were Game Boy Advance ports, like Yoshi's Island, Super Mario 3, Super Mario World. So, I wanted to uh, play this version. And there's voice acting. There's voice acting in a Mario game. And we are at Yoshi's Island. I'm playing this... Oh. I'm playing this on the Wii U's Virtual Console, so it may take a second to get used to the controls. Look at all the colorful Yoshis! Welcome to Yoshi's Island, a paradise where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar over a baby that fell from the sky.
Wait, it seems as though the baby knows where he wants to go. The bond between the brothers tells each, uh, each of them where the other one is. The Yoshis decide to carry him to his destination via a relay system. And so begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and baby Mario. This is Mario's very first adventure! Let's go! Welcome to Yoshi's Island. If baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Comet's toadies will swoop in and kidnap baby Mario. The more stars you collect, the safer you'll be. Once baby Mario is safe, the timer will count back up to 10. Complete a stage by passing baby Mario to the next helpful Yoshi. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. This is what I like. This is why I wanted to play the Game Boy Advance version. Because Yoshi actually makes noises. Also, look at this colorful background. Everything looks so drawn. Very stylish. Ugh, I'm geeking out over here. Learning how to flutter jump. Flutter jump. By holding A down, you can hover in the air for a short time. Make the extra effort. This is just a tutorial level, so I don't think there will be anything hidden about here. Boing. And I'm eating the bad guys and turning them into eggs! Now we know where to go. Yahoo! World 1. Make eggs, throw eggs. Already ahead of you. Ah! Yes, this is the song with Yoshi screaming. Make eggs! Wow, that is a... That is a determined looking face. You never really stop to think that Yoshi actually is giving birth to these enemies. That can't be comfortable. Oh, uh... Alright, so... Huh, that's weird. Special flower! Gather five for a one-up! They add to your point total. Mm -hmm. I know how to play this. Boing. Coinage. And some of them hide red coins. Uh, gimme. Got some stars out of that. Alright, I'll go ahead and show everyone. This is what happens when Yoshi gets hurt. Grab baby Mario. Jump or use your tongue to snare him. Or even throw eggs at him. If the timer drops to zero, connect goons will nab him. I'm coming, baby Mario. No. Oh. I gotta change that. Uh, if I... Just press the button, he still fi he still like does this reticle thing until I press it again. I'm used to holding down it and then letting go when I want to fire. A chomp rock is a useful thing. Push it to make it roll, bowling over your enemies. If it gets stuck, stand on one edge to make it roll again. I want this red coin. And these other coins. Ah! Haha, hold up. This red flower spits out stars. The music is so good too. Look at this background! 
This was on the Super Nintendo. They used pixels to their full advantage, and I love it. Rolling on the chop. Ah! Hey, oh, hey, yeah, oh. I'm gonna try to collect all of the red coins I can. The amount of flowers, stars, and red coins you collect will be uh, tallied up at the end of the level. You can score some one-ups that way, too. I had to check. If I missed just one red coin because I decided not to go after a coin, then I would be a fool. It feels nice getting back to a classic Nintendo game. Ever since Mario 64. If that's where I came from. Ugh. Yeah, I need to change that. Don't give me sass. Yeah, I love the sound the shy guys make. Flower power. God, I can't stop looking at the backgrounds. Everything here is so beautiful and charming. Look. Oh, hidden cloud. And there's a never ending supply of enemies for you to produce as eggs. In each level, 20 red coins are hidden among the yellow ones. They each add one point to your total points. No. Shy guys don't just walk around, they boing around. So many personality in this game. And here's the goal. Uh, no, that is not what I did. Nope. If the roulette lands on a flower, you can play a mini game. For some one-ups. Yeah, I got everything. Not bad for first level. What you got for me? Watch out below! I'm the pink Yoshi now. So every level is played by a different Yoshi. They all work together to um, get baby Mario over to his brother. Up. Oh. Looks like chumps are raining from the sky. Oh. Oh. God, gotta be careful. That is death. Uh, no, no, no. Oh. Ah, oh, that was a close one. That was a close one. This is the middle ring for this level. You can continue from here. Nice. So if I die, I appear there. Do you remember press B down and blah to make eggs? Press R to throw eggs. I'm aware. Shit, I forgot to change the controls so that I can just hold and then let go when I want to throw. I wanted that last coin. 
No coin shall survive me. Bet all the eggs. I'm getting all nostalgic over here. This was like one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games. Like everything about this is charming. Like the way Mario's hat kind of flaps while we're running. This is also the cutest Yoshi has ever been in my opinion. Something about his stylized, cartoonish appearance, as opposed to the 3D models we're so used to now. Select to display your score as a special I don't need any of that shit. I'm Yoshi. Certified babysitter. Oh. You can morph into a helicopter by touching the helicopter bubble. That makes complete sense in the sane world, right? Touch the Yoshi block in time, and baby Mario will be warped to Yoshi. Alright, let's get vehicular! Ooh. It's a little tough to control, but... I will turn back into Yoshi when the timer runs out, but I'm trying to, uh... Haha, <laughs> I remember that. I'm trying to get to a certain block. This one. God, this game is good. Oh, supposed to go a different direction, but what ifs? It's okay if I miss a secret here and there. I'm just going to attempt to collect them all. Doesn't mean I have to. Check out. Thanks for the one up. Uh, rude. Coinage. You chomps didn't get me. Ah, looks like I missed one flower. Bonus challenge. Not bad. Scratch and match. Get one-ups. Scratch three boxes. Uncover Mario's to gain one-ups. Scratch on. If I get all three toadies, I won't get anything. Alright. Go for Mario. Don't go for toadies. Yay. I'm getting at least one up. That's a toady. Yay, I get two ups. Yay. Before I do anything, let me change the controller option. Yes, release to throw. The Cave of Chomp Rock. I have no business with you, Piranha Plants. Underground Cave. Whoa. Pound the ground. Whoa. No, I wasn't trying to talk to you, I was trying to get the stars! I love how the stars look in this game. They're tiny and they got big blue shoes. What do they need shoes for? They don't have feet. Oh. Chomp Rock is gone. Cool.
There are two controller configurations for uh, No! You tell me this way too late. Chump rock that way, but what is over here? You gotta look for those secrets. Up! Oh. I see a house with a locked door. That is, uh... I think that's a bandit house. You can play a mini game with bandit. Ah! Lantern ghosties. They're basically shy guys. Shy guys who live underground. I need the key. Badoing ha! It is so hard to believe that Yoshi's vo- ah! Yoshi's voice is just some man going boring ha. Like there are videos of him with his slowed down voice and it sounds like an old Japanese man saying like boring ha and all that. Ah! Oh. That's how flowers are born. I'm not sure if I need to make way for the chomp rock, but I am just in case. Oh, there's the key! Got a key, and I knocked down this box full of coins! While I got the key, let's go ahead and check out that house. Wrong way. Throwing balloons. To throw the balloon, press the button sequence as shown. The game time is limited. If the balloon pops on you, you lose. If you win, you'll collect a 1-up. Oh, uh, alright. A up R L. And that's Bandit over there. He's a annoying enemy, but cool design. I can do this. You will lose, Bandit. So say if I. No. Ooh, close one. No! Bandit! Stop it! Ugh, pop on him! Pop on him! No, oh, Bandit, why are you so good? Ugh. Ooh, I am so scared now. The tension is up. Oh, yay! I win! Yoshi wins! That's pretty much all there is to it for those houses. Ah! No! You flower. There are different mini-games. Some of them more fun than others. But it's a nice little break from the overall adventure. Plus, you get items and such. Push. I can see why they made so many uh, sequels to Yoshi's Island. But there's just no replacing this one. Oh, I knew there would be a thing here. Ho one up! Ah, oh, I love how he licks his lips whenever he doesn't produce an egg. Some enemies you don't lay eggs, you just... Ah! There we go. You just swallow them, and that's it. You eat them. Yoshi is kind of a monster, if you think about it. But, like Kirby, he is an adorable monster. Ah! Oh, look at the color palette! Ugh! This game! It never hurts to have a full inventory of eggs. Is that it? Yep. Ah! No fair! 
I got you, baby. Don't worry. But I lost my egg, so let me grab some. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. You can eat them before they even leave the pipe. Good enough. Let's go. You, with your yellow teeth, can fuck off. Another mini game. This is the most, most hyped victory music I have seen in uh, any game I played. It's just like it feels like you've won. It's time to celebrate. That's what that music says to me. Scratch and match. But yes, this one I played. I think um each world has its own mini game. Like right now, I'm still on world one. So this is their version of the mini game. But I think world two and onward will be a different ones. No, two toadies. Give me a baby Mario. Yes, one up. We're in our first mini castle. So in every world, there's the mini fortress and then there's the boss fortress. Bert the Bashful. That's who we're fighting. Yellow eggs. I... You can rotate between eggs by doing that. Hold up. I think yellow eggs give you a coin when they hit. Yep. It never hurts to be rich. Shower with me with money. Whoa! That is incredible. That will actually flatten me. Oh, Shy Guy Ghost. You will not flatten me. It's weird how it only flattens me if I'm like right in the middle. Oh! Tiny birds. <laughs> I mushed you. Oh, oh, shit. Ah, ah. Now is not the time for twirling. Ah, Bert, stop it. You're supposed to be bashful. There we go. Give me the stars. Gotta be more careful. Oh, oh, oh. Not this time, wall. Uh, more birds. Eh. Uh, yes. Some enemies Yoshi can't swallow, so that's what he looks like. He's got a very disgust face. Uh, are you going to... Well, apparently they had business elsewhere. <laughs> I'm good. Ah, uh, fires! Now I can breathe fire! Except I I think I'll lose it if I go through the thing, so... Pachoo! 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 Satisfying. I'm tearing ass! Saw a little thing. Is he still here? Just not. Oh, there you are. Fuck. Ah, uh, I got scared and jumped into the lava. Yahoo! 
I still got all me eggs. That didn't happen. Forget you saw me die. I like this guy's design. It's all simple, but effective. I wouldn't want to be caught on the tail end of his fangs. Ah. You, you will not evade me, flower. I will... Uh. What'd I tell ya? No, don't touch me. Need a key. Whoa, that's a big one. They really are cute. Ah! Uh. I like how his fangs aren't really connected to its mouth. Key inside of a plant I just broke. Uh. Sorry girl, but you in my way. I have time for you. Let me take on the big boy. I think this is just a mini room. Oh! No. 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 And no. Woohoo! Yeah. Damn it, Bert! The red door means it's boss time. So, you're still on the baby side, Yoshi baby. Then get a load of this. Oh, you're a big bird. F-E. Thankfully, there's a flower over there that spits eggs. Uh, Give me eggs. Only eggs can sustain me. Uh. Why? Come on, I'm ready for ya. Uh -huh. No. No. Gotcha. Oh, you're naked. I guess he got so bashful he exploded. Aw, uh, Mario's first peace sign. Three ups! Ah, uh, this is gonna be so good. I'm already having fun with this playthrough, and uh, this is gonna be a little bit on the shorter side compared to the usual videos, just because it's very easy to pick up and put down this game. So, uh, I will uh, continue this game in the next episode. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Later!